What's up guys, welcome back to Throttle Tube and in this video, considering the weather is so bad outside, I thought what better timing than to answer a question that someone asked me before on how I keep my chain looking so crisp all year round. So in this video, we're going to go over the proper way to maintain your chain and I'm going to show you how to keep it nice and crisp. So if we're going to do this the proper way, we might as well use the proper thing. So first of all, we're going to need an Allen key. This is subjective to your bike and you'll see as we go as to why I need it on mine. Some rags, chain lube, chain cleaner, a chain brush, a lifter and a stand to go with your axle spools or your uh, spindles that will hold it up. And some cardboard. And uh, setting up three cameras and wearing a helmet doing this is obviously not mandatory. A real good tip if you are using a stand is to always leave the kickstand down and leave it in gear just in case it does happen to tip off or roll forward. At least you have some sort of protection that maybe it will fall on its side. It's better to have something and nothing. Taking this away is just stupid. So this is where the cardboard comes in handy. So depending on your uh, surface that you're working on, this is why cardboard comes in very handy. Because if you've got nice concrete to maintain or you're working inside like I am, this will save your bacon. It took me too long to realize that you can just put something underneath it. So hopefully you can see up close now that my chain isn't actually too bad. It looks a bit dirtier from further away, but it's just a grime that's built up. And that's the key to maintaining your chain, is to do it quite regularly. And if you want to be extra professional, definitely wear some gloves. Pretend I'm wearing some gloves if you want to make it super professional. So here we go, chain cleaner and chain lube. So we'll use that later, obviously. So hopefully you guys can see with the brush that it's got a three-way brush head on it and the back and obviously that way the chain can go through the middle and it gets all three angles so let's pop the bike into neutral so it can spin the wheel and don't be that guy that turns your bike on and leaves it in gear and spins the wheel and then does it all while it's spinning because all it takes is one thing to catch and you can imagine you're going to miss digits and whatever else it's really not worth it and all it takes is that one time like anything and you're going to regret it really bad and don't be shy to use a lot of this stuff same with the lube the more the better you're better off having more than not enough so as you can see, you just line it up and spin it round. That might seem like a lot, but I want it to sink all the way into the rings. And you can see the cardboard doing its thing. So we'll let that sit for a couple of minutes before we clean it all off. And while it's doing that, I'll show you exactly why I need an Allen key for this bike. And there you have it. That is your front sprocket. So you imagine all the times that people are only cleaning the back part, they're missing out on doing in here. And this part in here can really build up some grime because there's no way for it to escape or flick off. It tends to get stuck inside of here. Obviously mine doesn't look too bad because I keep on top of this, so bear that in mind. There you go, if you didn't know that, that's worth a like and a subscribe in itself, I think, don't you reckon? So yeah, let's uh, get on to the three-way brush thing. And you simply just spin it around. And don't be shy to give it a proper scrape. I mean, you can spin it, stay still and move part by part. The main thing is just to give it some elbow grease. And don't forget to try all different angles so you can get the back too. Yours may take a bit more work than that if you haven't done it for a while, but you can see for yourself when to stop. But that looks good to me from here. So this is where the rags come in. So you wipe off all of this gunk and you can see why I was saying don't do this when the bike's running and let it free spin. Because if your fingers get caught in this thing, I don't want to know how you're going to explain that to someone and not look like a complete idiot. So hopefully you can see the chain looking nice and silver, but it doesn't stop there because you've got the sprocket. And while you're here, it's a good uh, opportunity to clean these as well. And this part here, you can be as meticulous as you like. If you want to go showroom, you can get right in there. But like with anything, if you keep on top of it, the maintenance there out is actually quite easy. And sure, I can get a brush and get right into these parts, but that's not phasing me right now. That will do. Now this inside bit with the teeth, I'm just doing very slowly because I don't want to catch my fingers. Which goes back to what I was saying, do this with a bike running and it's goodbye. Sweet. So that looks nice and shiny. Do the same with the front, get right in there. But that'll do, that's cleaner than most people get their chains. And you literally just let that sit for a good 10 minutes or so just to dry out and soak everything through and then you apply the lube. But now's the perfect opportunity to get all the grime off of your runners and your chain guard because if you're going to do it you might as well do it properly. So other than the bike being slightly dirty which I'll get to next time when the weather's better, we're looking pretty damn good. 
And as far as chain adjustment goes, I'll get to that in another video also. And now would be the perfect time to do so. Sweet, so it's been five or 10 minutes or so we've come back. Looks pretty good to me. This is where we use a chain lube. So this is nothing special. You don't have to get this particular brand. It's just motorcycle chain lube. It's obviously designed not to fling when the chain's spinning so fast. So same as before, you just want to get it right in there. And don't be shy with this stuff. Put a tiny bit in the sprocket for good measure. And that is pretty much that. Make sure you let this sit for a while so it can all soak in. And bear in mind for a little while, it might fling up onto your tire. So when you're doing hard left turns, be aware of that to start with. So there you have it. Other than the fact that I need to clean my bike and get all this grime off, that is how I maintain my chain all year round and keep it looking shiny and brand new. So if anything in this video helped you out, help me help you by giving me a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you want to know any other maintenance tips and I'll get to a chain adjustment video ASAP. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.